in this fourth installment of reviewing my top 20 favorite episodes of MLP, we are now taking a look at, hmm, mystery on the Friendship Express. Let's see how it holds up as my fourth honorable mention. In, hmm, on the Friendship Express, Pinky is entering the ever so marvelous cake called the Marzipan Mascarpone Meringue Madness to a dessert competition. As Pinky and her friends get on the Friendship Express, she claims that the mmm will win the dessert competition. Until three other bakers gave Pinky a run with her money with competition with their dessert entries. Pinky then decides to guard the mmm during the night. But as the night progresses, three mysterious culprits make Pinky feel distracted from watching over the cake until she falls asleep. The next morning, Pinky wakes up to see that the cake got mysteriously bitten and wants to know who did it. Pinky then went into three montages of how she pictured the three other bakers had destroyed the mmm. While Twilight points out the obvious false information about Pinky's flimsy information. Twilight helps Pinky look for clues to solve who ate the mmm. Who are Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, and Rarity. The three apologized to Pinky that they couldn't help but had to take a bite of the cake. Pinky then takes what she learned from Twilight and solved the mystery of who ate the other bakers' desserts. And the episode ends with Pinky learning that she shouldn't jump to conclusions and slow down to find out the truth of a mystery. This is an episode alongside Magic Duel, Lesson Zero, and Magical Mystery Cure is where I experienced it when I was younger. And this episode delivers to be memorable. The lesson is a great lesson about how you shouldn't jump to conclusions without any proper evidence to back up your claims in a certain situation. I encountered situations like these where others claim that something is right or wrong without actual evidence or just flimsy evidence. The mystery angle was also handled very well with how Pinky is so desperate to find who bit into the hmm cake. And Twilight helping out Pinky find clues was a great way of showcasing that she is smart and wants to show Pinky the ways to find evidence before jumping to conclusions. The pacing is pretty good as well with how the montages don't drag out too long. Overall, the story and moral is very nicely told in this episode. The characters are very nicely presented here and how they were chosen as the mystery culprits. Pinkie Pie is as usual her enthusiastic self with also being really determined on who was the one who bit into the mmm cake. Some people might find her jumping to conclusions kind of annoying and dragged out, but I disagree because she is showcasing that we should learn that we can't jump to conclusions without having any proper evidence to back up claims. So Pinkie Pie is great here. The other main five ponies did a good job of playing their roles too, even though some might be minor. I just enjoyed Twilight being the stripe man for Pinky to, to help her solve the mystery of the mm, cake by actually looking for pieces of evidence. Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, and especially Rarity being the three culprits who ate a part of the cake made sense because of the foreshadowing hints we got throughout Pinky's distractions during the night. The one-shot characters who decided to enter this competition weren't anything to write home about. And they also had their desserts mysteriously being eaten as well, so not much to say. But they were fine as one-shot characters for this episode. So yeah, the characters are great and help showcase the story of, of the episode is going for. My only little flaw with the episode is that some people can find that the episode's structure might not be the best in terms of showcasing the story and pacing. Like, the montages can be seen as dragged out or unnecessary to pad time. I personally disagree with this claim, but I do gotta admit that the three montages did feel like padding. But it doesn't ruin my experience with the episode whatsoever. That's my only complaint. Here are my top 5 favorite moments.
decision. The cake! Oh, mm, you look mm, marvelous. Whoa! I know. I think some congratulations are in order for a job well done. Um, you better hold off on giving yourself an award just yet, Pinky. Look. Look at what? Huh? What is it? What happened? It's the Marzipan Monster Pomerang Madness! It's been... Miyoto Madden! But then another clue confounded my suspicions. You were guarding the cake when the curtains mysteriously closed. But that's no mystery. That's magic. But when the thief tried to make their great escape, they left a little addition to the portrait. Has any pony else noticed that Rarity is wearing her hair rather differently today? <laughs> what? Is it a crime to change one's style now and again? Why, I think it's a crime not to. Really? Fine, I'm guilty! I wear both eyelashes! Oh, and I took a bite of the cake. Today, I learned that it's not good to jump to conclusions. You have to find out all the facts before saying Sunpony did something. If you don't, you could end up blaming Sunpony for something they never did. This could hurt their feelings. And it can make you look really foolish. So from now on, I will always make sure to get all the facts. How's that for a lesson, Princess Celestia? Care for a bite? I don't mind if I do. It looks like we got another successful Pinkie Pie episode on the hands of me reviewing it as the fourth honorable mention. Overall, Mmm, Mystery on the Friendship Express is certainly an episode that I enjoyed watching back in the early 2010s and how I still enjoy re-watching it in the new decade. The episode is very nicely told of how it wants to handle a mystery culprit story to spice things up within one location throughout the episode. The lesson is a good one to learn about not jumping to conclusions whenever you are trying to solve a problem or mystery. The characters are nicely handled by how they contribute to being the culprits and to give Pinky some competition for a simple sweets competition. So I enjoyed the episode very much and I would absolutely watch it again soon. This is HeartCloud Productions and next time we'll be reviewing Sweet and Elite.